Okay, so here in just a second, I'm gonna do a screenshot video. And on this screenshot video, I'm gonna literally walk you through some of the questions that I've been asked about what is Fly Vault, uh, what it is we've done, what do I mean that you can store your patterns digitally. And I'm also gonna ask you for your support uh, because we need support. Uh, we've kept it as cheap as possible, but software ain't free, right? And so, uh, well, I, you know, just let the video talk for itself. I'm going to get it back on at the very end and I'll keep it short. So hang tight and let's do that screen. I can't talk. I can't talk. Screenshot video. Let's go. Okay. So inside Fly Vault, we have a few components. Uh, we have a social media aspect where you can create groups, uh, post your stuff, you know, if you want to post your birthday parties, your favorite rock video, that's totally cool. That's totally up to you. All right, so here I've opened up the prompt on a phone. I think I'm going to open it up again here in just a second, but uh, the prompts are in two different places. There it is. Uh, if you're on a phone, it's going to be in the upper right-hand corner. If you're on a desktop, it's going to be along the bar up top, uh, and you can select Fly Vault, and uh, the actual, this is the actual vault. This is inside the vault. This is uh, all the patterns that people have collected uh, or added to the vault. And uh, so there's recipe cards that we're going to get to here in a minute. And this is how you add all of your information, including your name. Um, you'll see it says tied by Brent Jones. That's all researchable. Everything you see in here is researchable. All of it. Uh, I don't have much in here. I didn't have much to offer except there's a fly and we're going to let it be researched. But um, now we have another member uh, and he's added all this. Uh, and he's even added tying instructions plus a video. Uh, and you can do this too. Uh, that's up to you. And so everything that goes on to these recipe cards that we're going to get to in just a second is researchable. So um, let's see here. Sorry, it's kind of difficult to remember exactly what I did and where I did it. Typing stuff in. Uh, I'm actually ser searching the vault itself. I think I'm typing in Crystal Flash. Sorry. <laughs> I don't get to see everything. Even though I shot the video, I don't get to see everything. Uh, yeah, so I typed in Crystal Flash. So every pattern that has Crystal Flash in it, it's now pulling up. Um, along with the tire that you can become friends with, you can uh, watch their videos, uh, so on and so forth. So when you, when you go to in, in store a pattern, you'll be able to save all this information for yourself and for others to find. So now I've clicked over to submit a fly, and this is what it looks like. So if you click uh, drop a file here, uh, you can choose uh, pictures from your photo library. You can actually just take a photo uh, right there, and it won't even save to your phone. It just saves into the vault, and so you can save storage room on your phone. And I'm just going to type this name of this fly that I'm making up in here. Uh, now we have prompts, so it says category. Uh, there's different categories. We're looking to add more, uh, but this is what we're starting off with. It's uh, fairly basic, but uh, we're going to add more. Uh, and if you have suggestions on what you'd like to see added, we can add that. Uh, so when it comes to some of these things, you can type in, uh, or it will automatically add your name. Uh, now when we get to the asterisks are for uh, required fields, including your name. Uh, now here you can see uh, it says put all as specific information as possible into this uh, field uh, as we go down below. So if you want to add Wopsy or you want to add uh, Simperfly or you want to add uh, Hairline or whatever your material is. And the reason for that is because that becomes researchable. And so I'm just going to type in fibers here just to type in something. You can, I mean, you can really type in whatever you want. Uh, normally, I start, start with a tail, so I'm going to use CDL for a tail or Coke de Leon. Um, I mean, it's really up to you. Now, you're going to hit the plus button to add a new uh, body part. Again, we can add more body parts. Um, just tell us you want more body parts in there, and we'll just pop it on in. That's kind of the cool thing about it is we're a small community, and, um, you know, we're here to serve you. Uh, so that's one way we can serve you. So rib, gold wire. Now, typically when I add uh, my materials to the recipes, I'm, I'm adding them in uh, in the order I tie them in. And so 
this kind of allows for a comprehensive uh, look at the recipe card uh, when it gets uh, published into the vault. And so now I'm just going to use some olive dubbing. I'm going to add another uh, field. Um, you know, you can do, I mean, the, the, we have a lot of options here. Um, and we're, you know, this is kind of where we're asking you to jump in, help us out, uh, help us grow and build this thing. It's really cool. So now down below, you can add uh, something like your website or your, your URL. Uh, and again, this is just so you can store your information so you don't have to keep looking it up and you don't have to remember what it is. It's like stored for you. So here in just a second, I'm actually going to go over to my YouTube channel and uh, pull a video and I'll show you how that's installed. It's super easy. Um, but you can also add things like your tying instructions step-by-step uh, -step instructions. Uh, we are also looking at adding a feature to tell people where, uh, or, or I'm sorry, to, to, uh, you'll click boxes or have more prompts to show what type of fish you are targeting so that that also becomes researchable, whether it's, you know, maybe you're searching for rainbows uh, or you're looking for patterns for rainbows or browns or, uh, you know, maybe you're searching for bass or, you know, um, grayling or whatever it is, salmon. Um, and so you can see that I'm just like typing in my step and step by step instructions here. Boy, this is pretty weird having to narrate over my own video. I've never had to do this before. So forgive me for the, uh, uh being a little rough. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly what I was thinking when I shot the video and typed all this in. I just don't have a way to do both at the same time, but you're starting to get the feel for, uh, what we're doing here. And, um, you can add extra images down below. All right, so now we get to the additional images. Again, you can just click on that and you can take additional pictures just so you can make it as you go. So I'm gonna add the URL here. Uh, from This is from my uh, uh, YouTube channel. I'm just gonna pick one and um, put it back in there. And there it is, boom, now it's stored. So, you know, maybe, maybe you have a favorite video from David McPhail or Barry Ward Clark, or uh, maybe you're making your own videos or whatever. Uh, you don't have to go look them back up. You can just put them back, you can put them right into your recipe card and save them. Uh, you know, we're, we're not discriminating anything here. It's just, you know, we want you to be you uh, and use the tools that we're working on and bringing forward. Now, when it comes to publish, you have to click yes in order to get it in there. Um, and then you can choose from pub published or private. And that's up to you how you want to handle that. Um, so anyway, that's, that's kind of it. And that's kind of what we're doing. Um, I think I've got some other stuff coming up here. Oh, yeah. Uh, right here. Yeah, so now I'm just back to my personal profile where you can see that I can post all my personal profile stuff. I'm scrolling across to show my followers. Uh, we're working on getting a blog in there. Uh, groups, you can create your own group um, and uh, invite your friends and whatever you want to do. And, that, you know, just like other platforms, your group is your group. Uh, I'm, I'm not sitting here as some kind of overlord saying, uh, well, that's not appropriate content or whatever. I mean, other than if it's, you know, totally inappropriate content, uh, you know, as, as long as it's not pornography or you're selling weapons or uh, your drugs or something, uh, you're, you're totally cool. I'm even showing you there that I, I, uh, I found this one, the heart cover for Stairway to Heaven, which I thought was totally cool. So I just posted that because I didn't want to lose it uh, on my feed. And uh, now I know that I have it for f future use. And, um, you know, so now we've got one of our good friends here that... Uh, Posted a bunch of pictures because he just wanted to dump a bunch of, bunch of stuff and add to his photo library, and you can do that too. Uh, you can click load more, and it'll pull up more stuff. Uh, now, one of the cool things is we don't have an algorithm, so this none of our posts get pushed down. Uh, there is no, I mean, there's literally no algorithm. We also don't have advertising, so you're not going to find advertisements popped up. However, we have kept the door open for sponsorships in the future. Um, we're not really on that path right now, 
but um, that may be something that happens in the future. Uh, we did have somebody that reported content, and uh, this is just me explaining that um, we want everybody here, whether you're uh, black, white, gay, straight, uh, whatever, uh, we have an emphasis on fishing, and that's it. So that's it. Um, I hope I answered the questions. Uh, sorry for the kind of bumpy video. I'm not used to narrating over a video I've already shot. But um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can always find me over at Fly Tying for Beginners, or what we call FTFB on uh, Facebook. Uh, and just answer the questions and become a member over there. Um, you know, it, it, we've seen a lot of people ask for this uh, throughout different media platforms. And uh, so, you know, we're just trying to, to deliver something. We also have a lot of really cool ideas that we want to bring forth and put into the vault. Uh, everything from hatch charts that are super comprehensive. Uh, just, I mean, I don't, I can't get into too much of it, but we also have, we're working on, we don't have yet, but we are working on a way for members to make money through affiliate marketing. So the idea behind that is uh, that uh, you can get an affiliate marketing link and then you can make a percentage of uh, what somebody else has to pay to get in. This helps you, it helps me. Uh, the goal is that, you know, you can pay for your membership. It's not like it's really expensive, uh, although they are going to have to go up uh, as we start to bring on more tech because tech just costs money. So, um, but anyway, hopefully it shouldn't be too much. You know, we want we want this to be for everybody and affordable for everybody. That's been a huge goal. We're not, I'm not into like, oh, all the value. You'll hear that word a lot. Value. Yeah, well, lots of things are valuable, right? My fingernails are valuable too. <laughs> because it depends on what you like and what you consider valuable. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and share this video. That's a big way to help us out. Even if you don't decide to join Fly Vault, uh, share the video because you may have a friend that wants to use something like this. So other than that, everybody, happy tying. Take care, and I'll see you later.